does the cleanse consist of? How do you go about doing it? All I can have all day is water and coconut water. Uh, no sex, so that's been weird. What? Yeah, it's been, it's been very terrible. Uh, Wait. <laughs> I couldn't do that fast. Um, it's uh, gross. Um... What? <laughs> Are you ready? Made from scratch. Jesus, all right, there you go. An intimate look into the lives of your favorite artists. These traditions become very important. It makes a place feel like home. As they make the food they grew up eating. It's amazing. With the people who know them best. It made them who they are today. We do unto others as we would have them do unto us. Two-time Grammy Award winner and vocal pioneer T-Pain makes his childhood favorite a one-of-a-kind beef pie with his mom, Aaliyah. Well, I've been doing this since you was born. Oh, my goodness. Despite being on a liquid diet cleanse. I'm gonna have to read all the guidelines of this diet one more time. <laughs> And later, modern-day Renaissance woman and three-time Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, and poet Janae Aiko talks music, healing, and more with her mom Christina as they rock vegan tacos. What is the cheese made out of? Vegan. I know <laughs> vegan, but what? How's it going? <laughs> All right now. Hi. How's it going? Oh, great. Yeah, it's great. Serious, How about with it's you? Serious. I'm good. I'm good. I thought I'd come and fix you your favorite meal since you've been on the go, on the go. I have. I, I have. know. I, have. I, I haven't know. eaten real food in a while. You know what that is. I, I sure do, because I can see everything. <laughs> you I'll can see, see all, all the ingredients and everything going oh, on. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I just call it Mama's Beef Pie. We actually have our ground beef. Sure do. We have the corn. Yeah. And we have the vegetables. Oh, Once boy. we do all that, then we actually do a tomato base. But we actually put our seasonings in it to make it really, really good. And this is something that I'm using. Did you read that? Slap your mama. Don't ever try that. Not gonna do it. So, oh, boy. Yeah. This so... is gonna be terrible. What um? <laughs> Well, because I'm doing this, I'm doing like a little cleanse right now. I'm not allowed to eat, but I might have to break that real quick. I don't know. Mm. I'm proud of you. Stronger every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does the cleanse consist of? How do you go about doing it? What it's is just it? liquid. It's just liquid. No intake of uh, solid foods or anything like that. It's literally all I can have all day is water and coconut water. Uh, no sex. So that's been weird. What? Yeah, it's been. It's been very terrible. Uh, Wait. <laughs> I couldn't do that fast. It's uh, gross. Um, what? <laughs> right now, I'm actually getting ready to chop up the vegetables to go in the dish because of the fact that when you making it, the ground beef is really good. But when you put bell peppers and onions with it, it brings out that flavor. Solid. Yes, it brings out that flavor. <sighs> this meal is important to me because I, uh, you know, grew up, you know, the whole family household, everybody always gathered around for dinner. Nobody, you know, took their food in their rooms or anything like that. And this is a, a real nostalgic meal for me. I mean, it's important to me because it just takes me back to humble beginnings. This is what you need in life, you know, once you get as big as I am. Uh, career-wise and size-wise, uh, you know, you, you, you need to, not anymore. Not with that cleanse. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's get electrified. Well, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the seasonings to this, and I have to watch myself because I'm heavy-handed, and that's chili powder. Oh my God, it smells so good. This was the worst scheduling of all time. <laughs> This is the garlic powder. <laughs> oh. mm. I just added the onions and bell peppers because the ground beef is pretty much ready. One day I was coming home and on the side of the road this guy was selling toys and I stopped by and he had this little um, 
this little piano, and it was like $5. I bought the little keyboard, and I took it home. And sure enough, I gave it to Fahim, mm -hmm. and he, was, he went in that room, and he came back out. And being Muslims, we didn't celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. He came back out, and he played Jingle Bells for his daddy. Sure did. So his daddy was like, hold up. Where'd that come from? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't do that. You know, Absolutely. whatever. Go get another song. So he went back in. He came back with Silent Night. That Silent Night was, it was solid, though. Oh, it was solid. It's like a trap version. Yeah, it was. It's it's <laughs> dump it. I hate the feeling of butter. You're gonna it dump is. it. There you go. I was gonna lick it. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> don't lick it. We're gonna drain the beef, because now you can't have all of the fat in the meal, right? So you got to oh, drain Jesus, it. Jesus, look at all that. You got to drain it, see? I'm gonna have to read all the guidelines of this diet one more time. <laughs> Seems like all see? the stuff I want. Are you sure this is a part of this? Well, I've been doing this since you was born. Oh, my goodness. We're gonna go ahead and add the corn to this. Oh. And the corn is actually brings out the sweetness of the ground beef. So... It sure does. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add in the tomato sauce. Oh. And now the only thing that we're gonna actually add as far as seasoning to this would be the slap your mama so it could have the spice to it, but it should actually have a blend already from the ground beef. We're gonna actually make the cornbread. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually open up the packages. Okay, that's that's important. Boom. Okay. Like nothing. I would eat this right now. <laughs> Just exactly Just how like it is. Just like it is. God. Talk. Put that stick of butter in there. The whole thing? The whole thing. It's cholesterol right here. There you go. I hate the feeling of butter. You're gonna it dump is. it. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of sugar. I was gonna lick it. This is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lick it. Just that, okay. just dump the whole thing? Just dump the whole All thing. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. And then we're gonna actually put the milk in. Oh. And you're gonna mix it. There you go. Ah! Don't be scared. All right. Okay. This is complete actual torture. Oh, boy. There we go. I've seen this on TV before. I think my sound came from a, a few different places. I mean, it ultimately came from Tallahassee and just different experiences and things like that, but uh, mostly it came from my dad. That, that helped out a lot, but you know, it, it was always music around me and all my friends wanted to be rappers. Obviously, everybody wanted to be rappers. And I think that's what drew me to singing how I do now because everybody in Tallahassee was doing the same thing. It was always, everybody wanted to be rappers and everybody wanted to rap about the same stuff, so I figured, I, I'll switch it up. Uh, being a singer was also considered being soft. So it was like, if you wasn't a gangster rapper and you wasn't rapping about smoking and drinking and killing, then you weren't an artist. And I, so I took that big risk to be different. And I just wanted to do something different from everybody else. And I mean, my sound just came from all of that. Just all of that influence, it was a lot. Okay. All right, he did a great job. It looks like cornbread. He did better than me, really. Solid. Pour this on top. Mm, 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 mm. But that looks good, don't it? Yes, that looks amazing. This is the famous beef pie. So now what we do is we actually stick it in the oven and we let it bake until the cornbread is completely brown mm. and done. Okay, well, this is the finished product, and it comes out like this. Voila, woo! Mm, mm, mm. I used to pretty much ask for this every night. Yeah. This was my favorite dish. Watch this shit, because this, <laughs> this is the part that, oh. Mm. And this is the part that makes oh, it my all goodness. worth it. That cornbread starts sopping up that juice. Oh, it's, I mean, it, it's, <laughs> it's just, it's two woo! kinds of wraps. Well, I'm proud of you for what you're doing, really, as Thank far you. as, you know, trying to 
build your energy up and, get, and keep your health straight and stuff of this nature, I will definitely come back and fix that for you Please after do. your seven days. Oh my so God. let me know. Everything came out pretty good. Tastes okay. I, you know, I'll taste it. Take your word for it. Whoo! Mm. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I thought about some pictures I had, I and I thought I'd pull some out. <laughs> oh I said, you're going to get a kick out of these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Three boy. days old. Good Lord. <laughs> Good Lord. That was special. That is something else. Remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do this so bad. Remember that? I, we never could figure out how you did that. Oh, my goodness. That mm -hmm. is so funny. You robbing you. Oh. Oh. Well, there's that. Yeah. The baby. That was dark. To think that you came from here. Mm hmm. To this. To... <laughs> but you did good. Thank and you, your mom. family's proud of you. You know, we do. We love you to death. I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah, so, that too. You know, we, I pray for you every night. Keep you safe. Make sure you're happy. That's all that's important to me is that you be happy in whatever you're doing. It's working. Tell you that. It is working. I Good. appreciate it. I, I see the progress. Yeah. Hey, like Nick Cannon told Kanye West today, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're not in that sunken place, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next on Made From Scratch. I find it very therapeutic. Peeling potatoes? Peel potatoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ain't got nothing left but time. You can't be wasting. I wasn't complacent. That's why I'm so amazing. Okay, we're ready to make tacos. We are making potato carrot tacos. <laughs> Vegan. We need to do the prep, because there's lots of chopping. Do you want them spicy? Medium. Okay. Are we doing the jalapeno and the potatoes or the guac? It's up oh, to you. Oh, the potatoes. She's changing my recipe. <laughs> making it better. Yeah, she's making <laughs> it better. I'm learning how to do this vegan since you are changing your diet. Don't you feel better when you? Actually, I do. I mean, you can tell it's healthier. Everything just gets better. OK, what else do I need? The onion. I started eating cleaner when I went to the hospital for like gallbladder stuff. Oh, that's right. At the time, I didn't have insurance. So they weren't trying to like do anything. They just sent me home. I just looked up like natural ways of like trying to correct that. And then I started eating vegan. Well, my thing is I just enjoy the fresh, fresh vegetables. So mm -hmm. I don't want something made like fake meat. That's why I like these tacos. What is the cheese made out of? Vegan. I know, <laughs> vegan, but what? Tofu? Right, I'll look at the package for you and let you know. I find it very therapeutic. Peeling potatoes? Peel potatoes. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Who taught you how to make tacos? My mommy and my daddy. And then your grandfather decided we put too much stuff in our tacos <laughs> because we put guacamole and sour cream and he just liked meat and cheese. Was that, is that like a Japanese style taco? No. <laughs> to not have no, a lot it's of called stuff called a man style taco. <laughs> Who doesn't like tacos? <laughs> this is kind of like a fusion dish to me. Well, I mean, we do have a lot of um, fusion. My father's Japanese, my mother's black with a lot of Creole. Mm -hmm. So that's why we'll have black eyed peas and greens on New Year's and we'll have sushi. And <laughs> so what's your favorite traditional foods that we have? Gumbo. I love Creole food. And I, whenever I'm in Louisiana, I really feel connected to my Creole roots. Is there a vegan gumbo? Yep. Oh, OK. So are you using your holistic knowledge in your music? 
I don't have a song about being vegan, but I've been adding uh, sound healing into my music. Mm -hmm. Certain frequencies, certain keys resonate with different chakras. What I'm working on right now is incorporating the singing bowls into the songs. My singing bowls are in different keys. So if this, if this is a song about love, then I want it to be in the key of the heart, which is F. That's okay. the key. It's all science. <laughs> Next on Made From Scratch. Growing up, I wanted to change my last name so, so bad because no one could say it and no one, you know, everyone would mispronounce it and it was just like. Let's take a moment, double back on everything that we made. I'm gonna add a curry. Um, that's gonna be my special addition to your recipe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to start making the shells? You could. You know, I like my shells crunchy. So I was telling you I was gonna get you that book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Yes. By Deepak Chopra. Yeah, I've seen that book. So there are seven laws, but my favorite one is the law of least effort. It's basically like going with the flow and having faith in the universe. Kind that's, of go with the flow. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing with the music too. That's why every song on my next project is a freestyle, a free flow. That should be interesting. Yeah, everything is the law of least effort. Ooh, the sizzle got a little crunchy. Wow. Oh my God. That's the good part. Cajun style. So I met with this shaman in Big Sur, and he was telling me about how I come from a long line of medicine women and like very powerful women. Overworked um, women. Overworked, but mainly just powerful. And obviously, I've watched you and Grandma Essie, a lot of strong female influencers in my life, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's part of the history of the women in the family. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important to show Nami, that you can be powerful, that you don't have to make yourself small right. for anyone. Loving yourself starts from the inside out. That's true. Does that resonate with you? Do you feel like you're magical? Um, I never thought about it that way, but oh, I know I'm magical. Okay, we're ready to make tacos. I named my next project my last name, Chalumbo, because growing up, I wanted to change my last name so, so bad because no one could say it, and no one, you know, everyone would mispronounce it, and it was just like, as I got older, I started realizing that I liked the name. Chilumbo means like wild, wild beast. As I come into my womanhood, I feel more free. Because a lot of times when I'm writing, and there's a melody first, then I'm like thinking too hard about, ooh, maybe I shouldn't say that, maybe this will offend someone. But now, like with Chalumpo, with this project, it's more just like about going with the flow, just trusting my intuition, having faith. That's it's why more been... organic because yeah. it's just what you were feeling. Exactly. The dragon phoenix is Chalumpo, and that's the tattoo on my back. Mm. And that hybrid beast is born from a volcano. And that beast itself creates like a new, new life. universe. Yeah, new life. Are you gonna eat yours? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I talk a lot. <laughs> mm hmm. With all of these creative ideas you have, are you gonna do some more film? I'm super interested in doing more acting. Um, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, and I'm excited to represent someone who is multicultural. I might have to write it, though, right. because they'll typecast you as like, Explain. we heard that you're Japanese. And they're like, do you speak Japanese? I'm like, right. 
No, like my well, grandfather never even went to Japan. Like right. he's never even been to Japan. He was born in Compton. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So it's like people still think if you're mixed, you're just half and half. Right. And I'm always trying to explain to people like, oh, like, you know, my yeah. parents, like both of their parents come from different places right. and you know, cause we're I all coming together. I think people are starting to embrace who they really are instead of being forced to choose one thing. Yeah, just like this taco. It has curry, Potatoes. it's vegan. <laughs> this taco is the future. <laughs> okay. <laughs>